Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another Quick Tips Tutorials brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Custom Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in with today's poster. Want to know how to get rid of this green flare. Now, what you want to do is fix the photo a little bit and do a two-step process so that you can easily take that out. Luckily, the jacket is gr kind of grayish, but the whole picture has a tinge of green and there seems to be some haze. So I think what I want to start out with is going to Enhance and choose Auto Haze Removal. So if we go like right there and you saw what it just did, it made the whole picture a little bit more sharper everywhere and more contrasty, and that's what we want. So now what we want to do is let's take the color out of the gray because there's still a little bit of green. What we're going to do is make a copy. We'll right click here and hit Duplicate. And now we got a copy underneath. We're going to turn that copy off. And then on that top copy, let's make the jacket and the whole thing gray. So I'm going to go to Enhance, Color, Color Saturation, and let's desaturate almost all the way. I can oversaturate and I can undersaturate. And you almost can't tell, but I'm making the jacket a little bit more, uh, more kind of a black and white, so it's a true gray color. And then I can bring the lightness down a little, just a tad right there, so it's not so prominent. And I'll hit OK. And that's what we did. Now let's bring the color back on the face and the background and everything else that needs color with the eraser. I'm going to erase from this layer and what it's going to do i'll turn the layer off it's going to show the layer from underneath here so if i stay on that top layer and i take a soft eraser this is a 50 point here and just erase away at the areas that i want the color to come back into and it's that simple it doesn't have to be perfect we just kind of erase all that stuff out and that brings the color right back in and if you want to see what I'm doing here I can turn off the bottom layer and you'll see I just cut the hand out and it showed the bottom layer through that has all the color I'm going to do the same thing with the face in the background but it'll be much easier because I can take a much bigger eraser about 150 point and now just go like this and I will carry that through to the background with a smaller brush, like a hundred point, and just kind of come along here and do the same thing along the back end here. If I turn off the bottom layer, you see what I just did? I erased the whole edge around the jacket. Now I can take the lasso tool and I can just lasso around the whole top edge that I want to get rid of. And what it's going to leave us is the background that has full color. As soon as I let go of the mouse, it does the crawling ants. I hit delete and boom, everything is gone but just the jacket. We still have this green here, but we'll get rid of that in a second. I'm going to go ahead and turn the background back on and boom, all the color came back and the jacket is now gray. Now we want to bring that red back so we can take the eraser again and bring that color red again by erasing the top layer. And that's all there is to it. So what we ended up really doing is just making sure that the jacket itself is a real gray color and not colored. And that'll allow us to be able to paint this out a lot easier. Let's go ahead and merge these two. I'm going to right click and merge it down. Now it's one piece again. Let's make another copy. This is part two and duplicate it. We're going to do the same thing, but just with this bar here of green. I'm going to turn off the back layer, and I'm going to, on the top layer, take the eraser. And since it's sharper down here and it's softer up here, the green is what we're talking about. Let's do like a 75-point soft brush. I'm going to brush along the green, just like that. And then I'll do a bigger piece, let's say like 125, and brush out the top end that's still kind of green. And that goes out right around there like that. Now that we have a hole on the top layer, I turn that back layer on again. I'm going to toggle it back and forth. And now it's really simple. Just choose that bottom layer. I'll unlock it. Go over to Enhance, Color, Adjust Hue Saturation. And this is where the magic happens. Watch that layer, the hue. I can change the hue of just that layer. And that's that haze that's coming through. And you can change it to any color you want. But at the same time, what you want to do is take the saturation and bring it down. And watch what happens. I can bring it up or I can bring it down or somewhere in between. So we want to bring it lower. And now you can tell that because it was a haze, it's actually even lighter than the top layer. So I can bring the lightness down 
until it starts matching. And look at that. All that color just kind of melts away. And that looks good right around there. And I can show you the before and after. Before and after. And that's all there is to it. I'll hit OK. And when you're ready to go, you just right click here and merge down. And there you have it. And that's it for this tutorial. This is Rich calling it quits. Saying over and out.